on the camera. On one, okay. two, three, go. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to our podcast. It's your boy, Jesse Keegan. And your girl, Fanny Longo. And you're listening to Diving In with Fanny and Jesse. So right about now, this podcast is brought to you by NSY. NSY is an accessory brand mainly dealing with sunglasses and other accessories. Yeah, as you heard, if you want to know more about NSY, just go on Instagram and type in N underscore S underscore Y. Feel free to just browse in and get whatever you feel like you want to get and yeah so man it is um it has been a minute and um first of all before even i get to what i want to talk uh what i want to say i just want to say that this is number one podcast in cyprus as we speak we have more than 1000 listeners and this is so amazing how do you feel about that i mean Mingmi, what do you think? <laughs> like you said, it's amazing. I'm just glad we're back at doing it again. Yeah, I mean, it's such an honor. You, you get it. Uh, every time, you know, Podbean keep on reminding us, like, hey, you guys, <laughs> you need to do more podcasts and stuff like that, which is really good. And um, if you're wondering, like, where you want to, you can listen to us, we are on Podbean, which is our main subscription host or something like that. Then we have um apple podcast then we also have spotify so you can find us in all those platforms also we have iheart radio and uh, what else yeah you can find us on all those platforms feel free man to just go and watch our not watch go feel free to go and listen to our podcast feel free man and also if you want to get us if you want to get a visual they can watch as well on YouTube. yeah i want it just tell them where can they get us on the visual? Uh, Fanny and Jesse two point on YouTube. So you can find us on YouTube. Just check out all the visuals that we've done. Impressive uh, visuals in there, and also some nice topics. Anyway, how was your week? My week has been alright. It's been it's been fine. Can't complain. I mean, it's just too hot. Otherwise, everything else has been fine. And I mean. There was a lot to do. I'm not sure I want to talk about it, but there was a lot to do. How like, was yours? what are the things that was so interesting? Maybe you can just touch on one or two things. The interesting stuff that you did. Something that was interesting. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I posted. I guess that's interesting to me. I posted something, but then what happens before i post is my sister and i actually go back and forth it's like i ask her to double check my work and she's always sending back all these uh voice notes just to correct me where i've gone wrong and what not otherwise yeah mm-hmm. you can check out my post or morning coffee with funny and or oh, it's just morning coffee with funny yeah other than that let me see what else happened i was reading a nice book still am mm. I think that's about it. Which we're going to get to... Sorry, which we're going to get back to the book that you're reading. This is the... Uh-huh. I mean, that's the main topic of this podcast today. Anyway, go on. How's it been your week? My week has been amazing. Full of manifestations and blessings and, you know, such an amazing week. I give thanks to the creator, man. I mean, this has been such an amazing journey. Uh, I wouldn't want to speak a lot but i just want to let you guys know that my week has been amazing first of all i you guys are checking out my 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 new look i got some dreadlocks and me and my girlfriend actually studied this journey and uh no but you know they can't see my hair because i've done something to eat maybe they can see oh oh, come on man (laughs) really (laughs) really yeah because i want to have buns oh my god oh my anyway we started this journey of like um, having dreadlocks all together and uh, I mean the progress is really amazing this is a whole new type of thing I've never done this before I mean it's a whole experience and it's such an amazing thing you've never thing. done I mean, what? I've never done dreadlocks in my life this is my okay. first you know and I think I like it I mean it's, it's coming out well on me my girlfriend loves it and a lot of people also you know responded 
in a I good way. I think you only like anyway. it because everyone keeps telling you that you look nice. Not really. I knew in back of my mind or you in my what? gut <laughs> that I'm going to look good in dreadlocks. You get my point. You're like, so cool of yourself. I mean, no, you didn't know that you would look nice. I'm not... <laughs> Tell them what you wanted to do before. Oh, uh, uh, what did I want to do? Like the store you were going for before. Remember I suggested you shave the sides? Yeah. So tell them what you wanted to do Wait, before that. What did I want to do? Did I want to do like... Um, I think you wanted like it I wanted everywhere. To, oh yeah, I want like full dreadlocks even on the sides and everything. I think it would also look nice. But just because of, um, you know, I thought about it, you know, styling and everything. I think um, when when I have it this way, I can style it however. But I, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. It depends with what you want i think i prefer this the most and you suggested actually you're the key pioneer of this which is okay which is fine mm-hmm. and also even to touch on the dreadlocks it's just not because that i just woke up one day and decided like hey i want to put dreadlocks blah 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 now nah. it also goes deep to my spirituality and whatnot that's that's why but i'm not going to talk about that today so anyway, you just know talking that about started... locks for a long time yeah, you know, this thing started started with me like way back. Cause I think, cause I think it all started with I don't know what you watched, but then you kept on saying I should do locks or look like nice yeah, in locks. Yeah, true, very very true. Then all of a sudden you wanted it for yourself. What do you mean for myself? Did I not tell you that hey we should do locks? Did I? Uh-uh, that was a recent thing, but then with me you started a long time pushing that I do locks. Yeah, exactly. You know why I told you that I was like you look so amazing in locks because you have that small looking type of face, and <laughs> um, what do you call this? I should see my with, face with, with, now. With locks, <laughs> with locks, especially the 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 not the tiny ones like like mine's but a little bit bigger, just a little bit bigger. You look so amazing. Trust me. I saw that in you, but you kept on like. You're so skeptical about what I was just trying to tell you. I don't know why. But yeah, you look so amazing on, on dreadlocks. But again, on my side, I was really debating on 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 what to do. Because like before I had an afro and then now I cut, I, I cut off my hair a little bit on the sides. And then now I think after realizing what I'm all about, I was like, yo, you know what? Let me just... Go what in. are you all about? I mean, after realizing that what I'm, what I'm all about, like me as Jesse Keegan, you know, and what my hair uh, resembles or symbolizes, you know. Uh, you know, to top it all, you know my name's Ming Ming, yeah? You know my name. You know my name, Ming Ming, yeah? I go by Jesse Samson. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my god, the way I hear that name, but anyway, my second name is Samson, so um, that's the reason as to why sometimes, um, I, I mean... So I can you, call you that now? Nah, don't call me Samson, Mingmi, man. Just call me uh, okay. Jesse Keegan or Kip Kirui, you know. Samson, I think Samson is too, you know, it's too, I don't know, man, it's, it's too ancient. But too what? No, but it's okay. I mean, it's fine. No, it's not. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, there's a lot of um, things that we can talk about regarding hair, but not today. There are very, there's a lot of things we can talk about here, but not today. So, yeah. So, we've started this journey with my girlfriend and it's going on perfectly. I don't know what she's doing with her hair because she's covering up her hair. I don't know why. But, yeah, as you can see, mine is that it looks like and yeah so my week i mean to just summarize on how my week was my week was just amazing i uh, i started going back to work and what else studies studied classes i have one class the whole week uh what else um what else what else happened yeah that's it amazing things are happening and it's really really ama- uh, it's really really good so what do you think? I mean, what what is really happening around the world, you know? Because so much is happening around okay, and I think people are, people are waking up, you know? It's like the awakening. What do you think? I mean, yeah. especially, you know, when you, go, when, when, you, when you go to the news and you see the likes of Nigeria, man. I mean, things are just going so bad. There's 
it's like they're under siege i really something. don't understand what's going on in nigeria how did this mm. thing even start okay according to my own understanding there's a there's um, a unit called sars a police unit called sars and they have a history of of you know um mistreating um the civilians and whatnot i mean treating them badly sometimes robbing them you know just stopping anybody just to ask them foolish questions you know oh give me your phone blah 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 i mean if you have an iphone they suspect that you're you you you're dealing i don't know if you if you have dreadlocks it's i mean they suspect that you're also dealing i mean what what kind of a world are we living in why do they have to do all these kinds of things are we are we are we in a what do you call this to, uh, totalitarian type of world or something because f- for me it doesn't make sense how would somebody stop me and ask me what phone do i have so if i have an iphone you're you're a dealer or maybe you you you're not making legit money that's foolishness foolishness you get my point so it doesn't even make sense yeah so as, as we speak um i mean there's a massive protest you know especially in nigeria and people are protesting and the police they have gone crazy they have gone harm they're even killing people you get my point but why are they killing them that's what i'm trying to figure out why why would you kill because those people are not um harming anything yeah so i I think it's just uh it's 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 a police unit that is mixed with some um some you know thugs you get my point or some ex cons and whatnot you get my point so it's it's like a it's like a police unit at the same time like uh i don't know man it's okay uh, according to what i read it's like the anti-robbery whatever thing but i think in there they, sh- they should be you know good cop bad cops and whatnot i think there are many bad people in there and has the president done anything I don't know. I saw his recent uh, talks, but I couldn't really pick one or two things because I don't think I was paying any whatever. But I think the general whatever of the police was uh, said like we've ended SARS. But according to things, it's not yet ended until the president makes his his speech. You get my point? Because is the mm-hmm. I think is the what is is the chief commander or, or whatever. Because he's the one who has to <laughs> approve that. Yeah. So it's I so see. bad. But then I was reading one of, like someone posted something and I was reading the, like the comments on Twitter. Someone was saying they want like Nigeria to fast, fasten. Is it fasten or fasten? Like the division of Nigeria. Are they trying to divide Nigeria into something? But come on, Mimi. Do you know that Nigeria has been divided for the longest now? You get my point? Because there's the northern part. Yeah, I know that. But like, do they want to like officially put that? Um, oh, what word can I use? Those, like the barrier. Do they really want to separate? The border, like the, they come, the they become lines. totally different countries. I, I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm not. It, it can be. I mean, anything can happen from now. You get my point? Because. If if there is anarchy, you think that that's possible? You know, orders comes after anarchy. So there are some orders that will be placed down, and I think it's going to affect a lot of Nigerians because I think when people keep on protesting and uh, the police keep on shooting and whatnot, the president may just can't wake up one day and say, you know what? Now from today, we are having a martial law because we cannot contain the people around. So the military now will take over. You get my point? And I don't know. I feel like we're gonna get into that kind of regime in the nearby future. But then, have you seen what happens or what's happened in the past before when the military took like over ish in Nigeria? Mimi, you know when the military takes over? I think that's going to be. It's going to be the worst. My last option. Exactly. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. Exactly. And it's it's going to be the worst thing because the military don't really joke, you know. Now the military is, is is even worse than the SARS. You get my point? Because them, uh, I mean, I, I I don't know. I mean, they're really really stubborn. You get my point? I mean, they they can do anything. They go by order. If they're told to do this, they will do it. And they're gonna be regulations here and there. So I think, I think Nigeria was 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 handpicked to go through this. And you know, 
you know nigeria is, is, is like the so-called the giants of africa because they have numbers they're like more than 300 million you get it so which country is is a better country to 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 pick other than nigeria you know when nigeria has been picked all african countries are affected also i think they tried the same thing in my country kenya too you know the police were beating people and shooting and whatnot but you know us man kenyans are chilled kenyans wouldn't go to the streets and start, start protesting you know so i think when the government realized that ah so these people are not even protesting for their rights or whatnot i think now they started implementing those laws um chini uh, amaji i mean in a in a in a in a what like uh, in a low-key form you get my point so um they started with the the food you know the food was being transferred from we have what we call the kenya meat commission and it was taken all the way to to a ministry of defense how can you it doesn't make sense why would you take food to ministry of defense and then now the kenya police I was reading somewhere that their helicopters and whatnot, they were being taken by the military. So what is this even telling us? That we are heading into a mili military regime or something. You get it? I mean, the the end goal is just to to create anarchy and then push in some, you know, some laws. You get my point? Because they want to implement some laws in there that um, is going to go in with the new world that you're going into. I mean... I mean, we can have a different uh, podcast for this so that we can talk about it and whatnot. Because if we start going in, it's gonna be a, <laughs> it's gonna be a long one. What's happening in the world now? And we shouldn't keep quiet about it. Keep on reposting until something is happening about it, and let's see where the the situations go from there. And yeah, I think we've spoken too much about that. Would love to jump into today's topic, which is us talking about some of our favorite favorite book not books but book and we're going to talk about what we're reading you know so today we're actually going to be talking about some of the books we're reading at the moment and yeah see what they're all about and how they help people in any way so feel free to start All right, wait. Before we even get to the reading of, sorry, like introducing my current book that I'm reading at the moment, I know everybody's wondering as to why I'm wearing a different T-shirt. Maybe Ming Ming, you can explain yourself of what happened because you're responsible for that. I was really trying to save whatever I had recorded on my laptop, but I ended up deleting it. So this is why we're we're doing part of everything. Yeah, so we had to start all over again. And the t-shirt that I was wearing yesterday, apparently I washed it today. So that's why I'm wearing a different t-shirt. So don't crucify me for that. Anyway, today, I mean, uh, the current book that I'm reading, okay, I, I, what do you call this? I mean, back in my primary level, the thing is, I used to be an avid reader. Like, I would just read books, especially romantic books, you get it. But when I was transitioning from, you know, um, from high school to, to college, now I started changing my way of reading. You know, I wasn't reading that much, but I was reading more of motivational type of books. And then currently I'm reading books that, um, what do you call this? Like, I just want to know what is really happening around. You get my point. It's more of awakening type of books, trying to go back to... Um, our history you know uh, history but not um, per se uh, so it's like about true events his story but yeah like yeah like real events and I'm trying to figure out like what were we before all this uh, thing came uh, I mean came by you know like for example uh, before the religion before blah 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 before we, we were indoctrinated to to what like to 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 have this educational system what were we so I'm, I'm 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 sorry i'm on that level of trying to figure out so the books that i'm reading i have i have a couple of books so i have like these books here these are the books that i'm currently reading guys don't crucify me the thing is buying or like um 
hardcover books or maybe original books or something like that is really expensive also shipping and whatnot you know what is happening around with the COVID-19 so I'd rather just buy uh, an ebook and then go and do what print them out so this is the books I'm reading I'll only give you I'll only talk about the current book that I'm reading right now it's an interesting book very very interesting so this book is called the Culling of man as you can see right there so this book is very very interesting you can see there is a American flag over there uh, this book was written by J Michaels Thomas Hayes you can go check it out if you want to read this book so basically I'm just gonna to touch on the summary of what it talks about it talks about about the pro proponent plan uh, sorry it talks about the proponent a uh, great plan of the new world order I mean how they are trying to usher in new world order the writer wrote this book um, knowing that there are things that are going to come to pass and whatnot and basically it talks about i mean it breaks down a lot of things in here to go on to start with chapter one it just tries to welcome you in the new world order and how it is and whatnot and then chapter two it talks about god versus religion and here it goes really intense to judaism roman catholic and mormonism i mean there's so much in it you guys should just go read this book and then i like the way uh he talked about the un i mean he said some amazing stuff in there because if you guys didn't know the un is all over the continent you get it i mean you might wonder yourself why is the un all over the continent sorry all over the continent and all over the country uh, in the world i mean their bases are just everywhere there must be a reason for that yeah so this book right here explains it all you don't want to summarize why the un is it everywhere also talks about... no i don't want to i don't want to do that because it's going to spoil it up but it goes with the uh it it, it, it actually connects with the new world order you get my point so in the future the un might be the <laughs> the people who are in charge of, in charge of that i think i've given you a hint so but anyway so all this time they've been in your country they've been planning and trying to you know um um come up with that great plan as 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 michael calls it on this book yeah so and also talks about fluoride everybody knows about fluoride it's in your water it's in your toothpaste and whatnot you just go read about what fluoride, fluoride does to your body or maybe what does to your pineal gland and whatnot i won't touch on that because it's a very big topic another thing it talks about the vaccines talks about educational control it talks about um voting machine fraud come on man by now you should know that most of your president are not elected they're selected you get it i mean most of them they just handpicked but that but now they want to make it look like hey we are voting so we have democracy and all those kind of things nah democracy died long time ago long long time ago anyway this is the book i'm reading right now such an amazing book and uh, on chapter 10 it talks about the birth of the united nation and the agenda world trade organization and all those kind of things it also talks about agenda 21 you guys if you've watched the video of uh agenda 21 i think on youtube you realize that they've been planning a lot of things on us i don't know it's it's really it's really sad to to be in a world where I, like as much as you're planning to do something for yourself they're having a plan for you what do you think ming what do you think about like uh them having a plan for you and not you having a plan for yourself i feel like they've always had a plan for us from the beginning so it shouldn't come as a shock whatever is happening it's all being planned out it's like mm. they have this um guide to how they should handle things in the world they came up with uh different they came up they've come up with all sorts of systems you have to have a birth certificate you have to have a passport you have to have all sorts of things so that it's like you mm -hmm. it's like what is it right if i say it's like trying to be it's like they need you registered under the government do you understand 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just. Very wait, sorry. So, uh, it's well, just interesting how people have actually come out with such books and no one does anything about it. People just ignore them. Like people are just talking useless stuff. For, I mean, we're quite you. We're quite ignorant as human beings. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's true. We 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 are so ignorant because you see, if if you read this book, there's some things you, you'll see in here. If you're not really aware of things, you look at it like, ah, this is crap. This is this doesn't make sense because just because you you have not experienced these things that you. It's, it's in this book doesn't mean that it doesn't exist you get it so there's so much it talks about in chapter five it talks about money and power i mean history of money and whatnot uh chapter six talks about starring of the new world order uh four it talks about dawn of the new world order and here it talks about the illuminati and all those things man it talks about adolf hitler alistair crowley everybody knows who alistair crowley is if you do, if you don't know you might be living under the rock or something like that and talks about the mainstream uh, media control and all those kind of things if you read this book trust me by the time you are at the last page you'll be so damn aware of what is happening around the world anyway yeah so uh, this is the book that i'm reading right now i haven't finished it yet but i'm on the verge of finishing the book it's called the culling of man you should go watch it the culling means it's like eradication or maybe uh, everybody knows what eugenics is like the um trying to remove um what do you call this i mean human humans out of this planet or maybe trying to reduce the number so that what it, it means or something like that but anyway you guys should get this book very very amazing book very very informative amazing yeah so ladies and gentlemen man you should go check out this book amazing book it's not that big you can finish it within uh okay it depends on how you read it. just 434 pages as amazing book yeah so this is my the current book that i'm reading right now i have maybe let, let me let me just show them what, what's on. the other okay. book that i'm reading is called the secret of science of num numerology the hidden meaning of numbers and letters amazing book <laughs> amazing book the other one is called cyclomancy this is the secret of psychic power and control amazing book also and here i have the book by uh sonia barrett amazing book it's called the holographic canvas this book right here man it will i mean it, it will just open up your mind completely amazing book and i have a book here by credo mutua rest in peace credo mutua you know he died i think this year or something it's called africa's hidden history amazing it talks about amazing stuff in here so this is the books that i'm reading at the moment and yeah so ming ming what are you reading i mean unlike you i'm reading something romantic i'm reading <laughs> this nice um novel i mean whatever whatever you're reading sounds interesting i would love to read it but i know i just want to find i i doubt i'll go pass through the first chapter but I'm sure you can tell me about it some other time. So I'm reading um, the After Book series by Anna Todd and they're very, very interesting. I don't even know how to explain it. Like I've just been excited reading those books and I'm, re I'm reading them for the third time this time around. So that the movie actually, the second movie dropped the other day. No, it dropped, a, it came out a long time ago, but it's like they're just restricting it. To some point so what i did was read mm -hmm. the first two so that by the time two is coming out like i i have that knowledge behind what's going on so yeah like i said the books are about romance about this young couple that crosses paths they fall in love but then you know how we're always battling our own demons whatever the case is in life so they come together but then the issues they have on their own somehow create some sort of commotion in their love story but then at the end of the day they end up working through their issues mm -hmm. I, and I, I just love how the book is very nice i love how they um i like the guy's character i mean they 
I don't know if it's a British accent nah, or what, but it's British just accent. it's nice. <laughs> but <laughs> but the movies are nothing compared to the um what to first the books. All, the books are way first detailed. All, before they you are very talk very about detailed. Movie, you should thank me so bad because I'm the one who actually hooked you up with that movie. I'm the plug here. <laughs> I already said thank yeah, you. Yeah, because you, you're so much in need of the movie. So, uh, I was even stressing out. So I was like, I them? have to see it. Uh, yeah, when I was texting you yesterday, I was watching, I think, part one. That's when, when I got off the phone with you, I started watching part two. Mm. It, 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 it's nice. But I, I didn't even finish it because my body just shuts down. I think before 22, my body just slowly shuts down. So I'll finish it today, hopefully. So maybe you can explain to the people, like, um, is there any difference between a book and a movie or something? Or is it just a similar thing that you've read and it's just uh, visually um, projected into, into a movie? What if... You know, movies are trash. If if we're going to talk about movies, the first part is nothing. The first movie is nothing compared to the um, first. The first book is nothing compared to the movie. The movie was just totally different, which was quite annoying. And um, I mean, it's the usual story. A girl meets a guy who's a bad guy, bad boy. They come together. They end up growing together. And I guess it's... Like I said, the book is about is about growth. It's about wanting to be independent, be it um, independent from your family, be it independent in a relationship, and yeah, well, okay, life goes if, on. If I may ask you a question, why why do you love love stories? Why why is it that every I don't know if it's every lady or something. They're so much obsessed with love stories. I think it's more of Faith no, is not. Yeah, that's why I say it. not not all of them. I think I don't know. It's 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 just sort of obses obsession or what? Is it like some sort of conditioning or what? It's not an obsession. I feel like I feel like for this one, this mm. time around, like I'm. I feel like I was obsessed to some extent. I feel like I'm still obsessed, but I'm saying like for this one, it was just an eye opener, train that um like it's true it, you can relate to it i feel like i was relating to the book because of not everything <laughs> some of the stuff that was going out i mean some of the stuff that was written is something that some of us get to experience in life that some of you have actually experienced be it a heartbreak being um bad news be it being, um losing a relative um taking alcohol using drugs Losing friendships. So and any other lessons nice things. that you learned about the whole thing? Or is it just to give you a, a dop dopamine feeling, you know, to give you that, um, is it anxiety or something? Is there anything that you learned from the movie? From the movie, no, but from the books, so I'd say what I took out from the book is mm -hmm. being independent. Okay. So why, why, like... Let your partner do what By they. By being independent, what, 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 what do you really mean? Let your partner. Uh -huh. Wait, can I talk? Can I just finish that? I was trying to say, let your partner do what they are doing. You do your own thing, and you do together what you have to do together. By you can ask your question again. Say by being independent. What exactly are you talking about here? Because is it like the independence of um, self reliance or what? Yeah, of course. I'm talking about um, just being independent. You don't want to fully um, fully depend on your partner for everything. And that's what was somehow happening in this situation. The girl felt like she was dependent or like... The girl felt like she just had to be independent from the guy because it's like they moved in together and she was paying for most of the stuff. He paid for the house, 
he wanted um he was even offering to get us stuff from time to time but she was like uh uh-uh, I want to be independent and just not when it comes to money also when it comes to making decisions in life like oh I want to pursue this career in life that that's the kind of independence I'm talking about what why what do you have no, to say I mean- No, I mean, you see, like, uh, just like a lot of women out there, you know, the way they look at independent um, is is totally different, you know. Um, you know, some would be like, okay, I want to be independent so that I, I can secure my stuff in case of anything, I'm out. You get my point? Or some will be like, I just want to be independent. Yeah, come I'm on. You know, you know, nowadays, it's, 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 like, it's like you're sitting on the fence. I mean, that's why... Um, I don't know, but I feel like the movies that we watch nowadays, they have so much um, conditioning, especially to our young ladies and also men. And it, it makes them uh, sit on a fence to an extent that um, them being independent is letting them be free in terms of if anything happens in a relationship. Let's say if, if just something small happens, somebody is willing to leave just because of I am secure, you know, I can live by myself. I make my own money. You get my point. So, I think uh, Is there anything there is wrong with that? Wrong with that. There's, there's something wrong with that. Look. When when you guys were getting married together, you vowed to get for for better for worse and all those type of things or what not. So, why are you jeopardizing that marriage for something that just happened maybe once? No, but in this situation if we're going to If we're going to base on what happened in the book at this point when she's she's thinking that she wants to be independent they're not married and to make matters worse the guy didn't even want children or to even marry the girl do you understand it's like he had all this he didn't want marriage because he thought people just end up marrying and divorcing at the end of the day or people cheat or whatever the case okay, is so i'm saying that you see what you've just watched or what you've just read is is kind of trying to tell you or to maybe tell young young men and uh, young men and women like you know what if you if you're in marriage expect a divorce again my point it's like it's like a sort of like you're watching a movie and then you see someone talking of i don't want kids and then all of a sudden oh uh, she wa- she wants to be uh, wh- whatever divorce and what already that's a condition you understand so the more you watch kind of things you you be prepared enough to be like you know what uh, i've seen this in the movies so you know what i want to do the same thing or i want to be part and puzzles of this type of thing you get it so um i, I, I don't think it's a bad thing because i don't think it's even conditioning because if you read all the books you're going to find out that in the end they end up getting married he he changes his mind but look You know what people don't really know understand here is that uh, maybe the writer was writing it through his experience or sorry his or her experience or maybe someone's experience you get my point so when you're reading or when you're watching that movie just know that that's not you at the moment that's somebody else's experience so do not try to bring that that person's experience into your life or force it in what you need to do is What is it that was done that was wrong that I can rectify? You get my point? Now, now the thing is, everybody has their own experience in life. You get my point? I mean, I value people's experiences. Um, you rather have your own experience and try to be righteous and do good in what you're trying to do. Uh, it also should be um, accompanied by the person that you you are with also. You should, you should, I mean... Everybody has their own experiences. So if you're watching those movies and trying to to bring those experiences into your life, then you're going wrong. You get my point? I feel like that's what people do and they end up breaking up or they end up and this they reflect themselves into that book. I don't know. I I feel like it's I understand what you mean, but um, then with the book as I'm saying with the book we can all relate because it's the th- some of the things that we may go through or have gone through already. No, it no, wasn't... no, 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 Mimi, listen, you cannot, no, 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 you cannot say we can all relate. There are people who don't know that completely, and I can give you an example. There are people who live down the valleys, they do not know anything about that. About what? You know, you know, 
they do not know anything about what is written in that book or that experience that's what i'm saying because if them, you read they the value book the... it's it's about stuff yeah. in um th- that we may go through or have gone through because each character had a baggage do you understand to to explain that's why the fifth book explains some of the things like the other characters were going through or why they were acting the way they were acting for example betrayal a friend betrays you by doing something a friend goes behind your back by wanting your boyfriend those are normal things that some of us have experienced and some of us have not i'm not saying everyone experiences the same things in life yeah yeah not not everyone because okay i mean i understand where the writer was coming from and what not but the thing is i want to say is that everybody has their own experiences you might not come across this experience that you're watching or that you're reading uh, through or something but imagine so so now look I, i haven't experienced such a thing in my life and i'm reading this book and it's giving me somebody somebody's experiences you get my point mm-hmm. don't you think it's just drawing me closer to these kind of experiences and it's even a sort of manifestation like i oh, you know what ah so if if this guy experienced it that means i'm going to experience it too like i'm going to experience it too no it doesn't i, I think it doesn't mean that yeah but i'm saying this kind of uh, it, I, I feel like it makes sometimes. you think that you're not the only one going through tough times in life other people out there are also having hardships just like everyone else yeah i do yeah i do understand that but i feel it's just some sort of conditioning also I mean because just the way i'm saying imagine you've not been under- to this experience i understand why you're coming from book. because of course some of, mm. some of us are going to want to live like the way the girl was living in the movie I, I, which exactly, doesn't make sense point. but then when you mm-hmm. at some point at some point you still have to grow up and say uh uh-uh, uh let me stop living a lie imagine um finding a girlfriend or boyfriend and then you're acting like a character in a certain movie one day your true colors are going to show and they're going to be shocked like is this the person that yeah that very, i met very, true. very very true because most of the people try to try to hide um, their true colors emotions uh, and all those type of things you understand so i mean it's, it's too much that is going on and the reason as to why people do that is because of the things that they see Mimi and I'm not lying to you when someone is born they don't have these things in them but the moment you start watching conditioned and what not that's, that's what, when that's it what starts, I'm saying I feel know. like some of the things are not bad cuz in this situation they wanted communication to work out for them communication is good in a relationship mm. so i don't think anyone working getting that point from the book and applying it to their life is bad also in this movie we show they we show they show um this guy actually opening up most men don't open up so what's wrong with watching Maybe. a movie like this and actually opening up to your partner and saying oh you know what let's sort this issue Maybe. out oh lord you talk you talked about communication yeah okay you've said that communication is good there's a gap but you need to the thing is i mean they are they are communi- communication is something that it might be good and might be it might be bad so it depends on how the communication is being passed on you get my point mm-hmm. so i think like um as much as we talk about communication most of the people think like ah if we communicate every day that that's fine or if, if you communicate every time that's mm-hmm. of course it's going to be fine I'm not talking with about other people that. and again I'm not, not talking about that mm-hmm. yeah just thinking of the negative things about everything can you be positive when it comes to communication it's like it's like when we're arguing what if i said something to you that's mean when i'm arguing with you which isn't right so if the book is going to say no, not even the book you just i don't even i continue with your point anyway i mean there's good communication and bad communication however those are both communication you get it and a good communication can come out bad 
and i feel like it's just it depends with someone's understanding also what what's good communication i mean good communication is that communication that both of two parties or whatever they have that understanding that you know what if i tell you this i don't mean sometimes to hurt you you get it or if i tell you like hey hold up a little bit it doesn't mean that i don't want to talk to you or if you know you know the kind of things i'm trying to talk about you get my point yeah no let me tell you what i think what let me respond to what you said because communication that doesn't always have to be understanding someone you that's what i'm saying sometimes in life you're going to come across people that people just that won't compromise when it comes to communication they'll say uh uh-uh, i don't want to be told I don't want to be. Yeah, of wait, I know. wait, 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 wait. Let me gather my mm-hmm. thoughts. I'm saying, I'm trying to say, if you're busy, if you're going to be busy, what's wrong with communicating? Saying, maybe it's in the morning. Good morning. Whatever you say today, I'm going to be to be busy. So you even say today, I'm going to be busy. I might not be able to text you. That's you've communicated. That's good communication. But then, if you just wake up no, and no, no, keep no. quiet look, the entire look, time. No. Uh, no, 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 no. Look, Mimi, I understand what you're saying, yeah? But supposedly, this person, yeah? Okay, you know exactly this guy works from whatever time to what time. You get my point, Mimi? So, you, for yourself, you need to have that understanding, like, uh, you know what, this guy works at this time, let me not disturb him. However, if this person um, doesn't work in the morning, and then he texts you and tells you, you know what, I'm going to be busy, at this particular time and whatnot mm. nothing no, no, nothing wrong with that my camera has but gone now, off imagine this it's person. okay yeah okay it's fine yeah but now imagine now this guy this guy doesn't have eight to five and he wakes up in the morning but he doesn't tell you that he's going like he he or she is going to be busy but again maybe he's this type of a person who deals with you know this type of deals that come really fast and you need to act up really fast and something comes up in the middle of the day. I agree and maybe with what you're saying. It doesn't, it doesn't, no, no, let me finish. It doesn't tell you like, hey, you know what? I'm, I'm being busy right now, blah, blah, blah. So this nigga just rush, rushes out and trying to just get the bread or whatnot. I mean, sometimes when you go on texting this guy and then you, and then the guy doesn't reply back to you, I think you shouldn't try and be judgmental or jump to conclusion. Just wait. Give it a few minutes or maybe a few hours or whatnot. Or if he replies back to you and says, you know what? I'm a little bit busy now. I'll talk to you later. And you in your mind, you know that, ah, but this guy is, is free today. But just because you think that he is free, it doesn't mean that he didn't get any gig or anything to do today. You get my point? So the level of understanding should be really... I don't know, man. I mean, it should be on a, on a higher level. It should be on a different super sent type of thing you know that's what i'm trying to tell you not everyone is going to be understanding in this world because we all possess different characteristics it may be that one thing and another person maybe the other person won't compromise they'll want the bed always meant and they can't compromise like they always want the bed meant so if you sit on it make sure you you, um stretch it other people won't compromise when it comes to walking with shoes in the house that's them but they'll compromise in other things that you people do in your relationship so when it comes to communication what i'm trying to tell you that sometimes that we are going to come across people that someone someone just won't compromise when it comes to saying you know what just let me know if you're going to be busy today but I'll understand if you if you cancel our debt because or postpone it because you were busy. Do you understand? You were communicating, but all of a sudden you were busy. That's what I'm saying. They are level of understanding, maybe. It's not. It's if not about levels. Partner. It's about characteristics. If you, if you know your partner is going to throw a tantrum when you've done something that she doesn't appreciate or he doesn't appreciate, then you have to learn to do it your partner's way. Do you understand? Yes, I understand that. I really understand that. But what I'm trying to say is, people should learn to understand each other's um, 
um, what do you call this? I mean, how they communicate and whatnot. You know, before you before you have a partner, you should know exactly what do you really want. I think that's where most of the people, uh, most of the people, or if not most of the people, people go wrong. You know, you just go into into anyone, and then you think that it's gonna last long. Nah, no, 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 <laughs> it doesn't happen like that. F- figure yourself out. Who 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 are you, and who do you want? You understand? Before you even just go and get. Uh, just any any john or gems out there on the streets you get it i mean it's it, it takes a lot of um investigation if not it, it takes so much of uh, research and all those kind of things it's just like when you want to do a research i mean you need to sit down and think of what you really want what you really want to do or what you want to be with it's the same thing when it comes to love people love has been um, no, not even love. Companionship has been has been misconstrued by just going into risking. It's like now it's business. Like we are risking it all. Like let's let's just go in. No, not like that. Sometimes you have There's to so much that take the risk. <laughs> nah, it's either there's something that you want or not. Trust me, Mimi. You can't you can't say, oh, I'm taking a risk with this guy doesn't make sense then what is it business is it is it like uh, a what that's why a form of business or what that's what i'm saying just say you're taking a risk because uh, okay i wanna i wanna i wanna use this guy so let me just take a risk but if it happens to to become what then it happens you know you can't you can't in this companionship you but cannot don't take you a think we're already risk taking anymore. risks by actually entering these relationships because you don't know what your partner it's will not, do no, 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 Ming Ming. Do you know there are people who know exactly what they want? And the moment they get that particular thing, they're not taking any risks. Like they know this is what I want. I want somebody who is this and this. Uh, someone who I'm aligned to, this, this and that. And it's not taking it's a risk. It's like the way you made your first risking is listen. Like, it's like risking, the way you made your first like, move okay, I'm to here. talk to me, not knowing whether I've got a boyfriend at home or I'm married to someone at home. That's what I'm saying. Don't you think it's taking a risk to even say, you know what? Let's be in a relationship. No, I wasn't taking any risks. No, I wasn't taking so any you risks. knew that I had no husband at home? Not even you having any husbands. Let me tell you something about intuition, Mingmi. Yeah? You know, when you are the person, when, when you go with your intuition sometimes, it tells you exactly what you want and it points you it points it out for you automatically and then there are those connections that are automatically you see from the other partner and it actually relates to you or maybe correlates to you so when you see those things you automatically just come up to a conclusion that you know what this is not a risk that i'm taking anymore this is it you get my point so uh to answer your question i wasn't taking any risks Hmm. Okay. I wasn't trying to make a deal, any business or with anyone. Business, you can make a risk when you want to start a business. You know, it, um, when I was doing business in high school, we were talking about uh, risks in business and all those kind of things. You get it? Because you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow because some t- uh, sometimes your business, the demand can be low. You know, sometimes it can fluctuate and what. So you have to, to be on your, on your what? like on your toes when it fluctuates and you go down the 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 gutter or something i mean okay it was a risk just pray that you you did what like you got your profit back or whatnot but when you talk about companionship no there's nothing like that if you call it a risk it means that you know what Hmm, i'm expecting something to happen like you know what i'm expecting us to have a divorce you get it so the moment you have those expectation then you no longer have positivity in uh, in what in what in your in your in your companionship, then that that that's a major blow right there. You get it? Yeah. If you say so. I mean, we was supposed to be talking about books, but we're talking about something else. It's like just because you're reading that book doesn't mean whatever is written in that book you should agree with. Do you understand? exactly exactly you choose exactly. information that's what i'm no. saying reading books sometimes is nice because you pick the information that you think is useful 
Mm -hmm. Very important. Yeah, I think that's about it. Unless there's something else that you want to say. Nah, I think it's... Um, I mean, what for me just to have my closing remarks, this is what I'm going to talk to talk to about like uh, reading books and the viewers who are out there probably they wonder like these people talking about books and books here you know look guys books are really important especially um in your life you know um since you're in this system that we are in today reading a book has a lot of ben benefits and whatnot i mean you can you can benefit from reading books you can um you can grasp a lot of things first of all um when it comes to your grammar uh, how you articulate yourself another thing is that um you know like why you should read books is um uh, i mean it makes you a better writer if 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 you're going through those those uh, paths or whatnot it improves it, it improves your conver conversational skills uh strengthens uh, um, world view and convictions and all those kind of things improves your self-disciplinary and consistency yeah and now when you go to like benefits i mean there are a lot of benefits a lot of good benefits in there a lot a lot you guys should just at least just read a book at least in one month just try to read one book you get my point because when you keep on reading sometimes books are stress reductions you get a lot of knowledge from books um, mental stimulations and you know what um memory improvement yeah that's very very important also uh strong and uh, analytical thinking like critical thinking it gives you that critical thinking every time especially when you read books that i'm reading right now you you will start questioning a lot of things in your life not unless you want to be like my girlfriend reading love love stories of course, you're going to question some things in there, but it's just going to give you some dopamine feeling, you know. And also, um, improves focus and concentration, better writing skills, tranquility. Yeah, so anyway, I think that's my final thought about books, and everybody should go read books. And for the books that I'm having here, I'm going to link them on the description below. Also, my girl's um, book, also, you're going to link them in the description below. Just go and check them out very very important books you should read them if you wanna for my personal view if you want to awaken yourself if you want to be on that a super zen level of thinking or maybe questioning then the books that i'm having here you should go read them this is just a quarter of the books that i have i have so many books that i, I may want to share with you guys but time will not allow us but yeah this is it thank you so much Back to you, my lady. Oh, when you said you should at least read one book a month, I was actually going to say that. It's like we were thinking the same thing at the same time. Reading is very important. I feel like you've um, covered everything. There is so much knowledge in books that you guys don't want to miss out on. Plus, right now, with the, whatever is going on in the world, you really just want to read something and keep yourself occupied. If I could marry books or a book, I would have, but this is already taken so yeah i mean just read something at least read something if you can't read you can't really focus read a paragraph per day with pro with time you're going to progress all the way to the end of the um book and learn something plus just very very important i've forgotten what i wanted, somebody <laughs> forgotten say what I wanted to say somebody say that if you want to hide the truth, put them in the books. You get it? So now you know. Mm -hmm. The truth is hidden in books. And they know that most of the people don't read nowadays. Most of the people are on their phones trying to TikTok and all those uh, funny applications. Mm -hmm. You know? So um, try and find, try and read books. Very, very, trust me. I've read these books that I'm reading today. And I can tell you, the knowledge that I have today... I bet you there's some people who don't know anything about the things that I know now. Even even I was shocked. Some of my lecturers I was talking to, they don't know much about... Okay, they might know some other things, but the things that I know, I feel like I know so much. And I'm like, okay, this, this is some different level type of thing here. Yeah. 
you can close so anyway uh ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for listening to our podcast today you guys are super amazing and first of all we want to thank you man for just coming up to this end right here you are really really amazing thank you for listening if you feel like you want to share out your books and whatnot just p- put them on our comment section below we're going to look into your books discuss them if you want us to and if you feel like you want to read our books the books that we've mentioned just go on the comment section below and just feel free to uh discuss with us on what you want us to talk about we can talk about anything just let us know in the comment section below and fa- and uh also we want to thank um what do you call this the people who've been responsive uh sorry yeah responsive on responding on our on our comment section below you guys are amazing also uh we want to thank uh the people who are out of cyprus out of maybe i don't know maybe there are aliens out there who are listening to us mm-hmm. also we want to thank you so much <laughs> yeah so without any further ado we've come to an end and yeah until next time you've been listening to diving in with fanny and jesse we're out